typical day, we get Boone up first thing in the morning. He's in his crate. We get him up, we take him outside to go to the bathroom. He rolls around in the grass with Benton, his best friend, who's a great Pyrenees livestock guardian dog. We take Boone, he gets to go in his wheelchair. He takes a good three laps around our pond. He wants to go longer than we can take him. Nolan River Wildlife started in 2015. I came home and found a possum dead in our driveway. And my daughters and I fished the babies out and rehabbed them. And to see them grow up and be released was so unbelievable. I never even really had a thing for possums until I got to do that. The mission of the organization is coexistence. What we're trying to do is get out and educate and really get people to fall in love with these animals and realize how important each animal is to the ecosystem. Favorite things about my line of work, getting to take care of the babies and then to see them be able to be released back out in the wild is so super rewarding. Some of the biggest challenges we face are just the, we get too many animals, we have to turn some away or we can't take care of the ones we have. Definitely having enough enclosures, enough space, enough people, enough money. Those are the things that if we had more of, we could do more. I would say that's the biggest challenge. Also just the heartache of working so hard. The worst thing is when you get an animal that is borderline, you don't know if they're gonna make it. And every day you have to go and look and see if they made it. And you start to get encouraged, they're doing well. And then all of a sudden they start to crash and you have to make that decision to euthanize. And that's the worst part of the job. My concern is if we sit there and just raise these animals, and put them back out in the wild and don't get other people to see what we do and to fall in love with these animals and to appreciate what they do and why they do it. For instance, a possum eats 5,000 ticks a year. Who knew? So that's the kind of thing I think we've got to get our message out there. So it is important what we save and get to release, but it's extra important that people see how important these animals are. In order to support Nolan River Wildlife Sanctuary, we could definitely use donations and you can do that through nolanriverwildlife.com and there's ways to donate there. If you ever have an animal you don't want on your property or is causing an issue, there are so many great ways to deter that animal. If you trap and relocate, you're killing the animal you're trapping and relocating because they're gonna compete for the food and water where they don't even know where it is. They're competing with already established animals. Please just leave them alone and understand how important they are. There are so many humane ways to evict them. You can Google it or you can look on our website and we will do everything we can to help you with that.